welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Psychic Medium Tony Green here with the show today. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit so we can see a little bit more like that. That's better. Nobody needs to see the corset I'm wearing. Nobody. Okay. So yes, yes, I did. I said that. Yes. I think we should all wear them <laughs> like princesses. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, the show is already off the tracks. There we go. It's gone. <laughs> Anybody agree with me, by the way? Anybody else want to live that lifestyle? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Heather. Hi, Sal. How are you? I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Okay. I'm adding a segment to my show. I hope you all enjoy it. It's called Conspiracy Theory or Not. It's new. If you don't like it, I won't do it again. But for today, we're going to play. Okay, we're going to we're gonna play this little game. So, Conspiracy Theory or Not, number uno. One, and I say uno because it is about, you know, the border. Shh. Hey, Terry. Um, so... Uh, Venezuela, beautiful country. Yeah. Um, they have released their most dangerous, dangerous prisoners from prison and took them to our southern border and they have crossed over. Very smart move on Venezuela's part. You want to get rid of your violent criminals. That's one way to go. Is this a conspiracy theory or not, folks? I'll give you a clue. I actually saw it on actual news. Yeah, uh, maybe this is why everybody cries to close the border. I heard Ecuador had done the same thing. They keep saying women are ch and children are coming through, but all I see getting off the bus are men. Hmm. I, 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 maybe, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, hey, Patrick, how are you? Hi, Caroline. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Oh, you're at the airport waiting. So Patrick's been in Bonaire, Bonaire, uh, for like two weeks. He's coming home. How wonderful. Um, you're gonna I, I, have a, safe and happy flight, um, Patrick. Uh, he's put a lot of social media. It looks amazing for just there. Okay. A um, couple more really, really quick things here. A um, couple predictions that I had made in the past about the housing market. Well, I heard some statistics. I might be a little bit off with these statistics. Please fact check for yourself um, to see where the numbers actually are right now. But I was watching somebody and they said that um, there are 88,000, maybe it's 8,000 houses a day going into foreclosure. I, I know it's 8,000 vehicles a day going into um, being repossessed, but 80 or 8,000 houses a day going into foreclosure. And our part of this is because in 2020, they did the No Foreclosure, No Eviction Act. Technical name unknown to me at this moment. And so all the people from 2020 who should have probably gone into foreclosure in 2020 through you know, when they undid that act, have gone into foreclosure, but then now the people going in now. So here's the good and the bad of that. If you have cash, you are going to be able to buy homes at a very low price in the near future. And don't, don't do it now. Don't jump on it now. Wait until, you know, February, March, and then jump on it. Um, and it's really unfortunate for those people who are going through that. I, our prayers are with you, 100%. Our prayers are with you. Um, and again, conspiracy theory or not, 
check for yourself. Research it for yourself. And if you do have, uh, if you are able to uh, go for investment properties, a couple months is going to be the perfect prime time to, to get into real estate investment. Okie dokie. Let's go into callers. Um, so I am live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. If you'd like to join the show live, you can do so on YouTube. Um, you can call in and ask questions. Uh, the the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you want to ask a question about life, love, career, finances, or you would like to connect with a loved one on the other side. If you do want to connect with a loved one on the other side, the only thing I need is their name and their um relationship to you and whatever question or conversation you would have wanted to have with them anything along those lines uh the other thing is uh i i am like a little bit um like a computer that's glitching this morning <laughs> I had so so much hope for the beginning of this show just flowing, and then here I am again. It's me again. I want to say good morning to Stevie. Hey, Stevie, I hope you're having a good morning. Um, a little caffeine might help me get go a long way today. Okay, so I'm going to go to the first caller. When I call your area code, please give me your name and where you're calling from. And um, your question or connection, okay? We're gonna we're gonna try to make this this show work with my brain on leg. Here we go. Hey, Amy, how are you today? Uh, eight zero five. Eight zero five. What's your name and where are you oh, calling? Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, Tony. This is Donna in California. How are you? I'm good, Donna. How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, I just wanted to let you know I love your hair color. It's so pretty. Oh, thank wow. you. That is all for the guy who does my hair. Lovely. That's all him. But thank you so much. That's uh that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. Right. Now, how can I help you today, love? Uh, yeah, I wanted to know about finances. Have you seen any uh windfalls or inherit inheritance, uh, chance of luck or anything like that? Because my finances aren't too good right now. And yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, hoping for something good to come in. Okay. So um, <clears throat> the first thing I'm hearing is in a month and a half, you're going to get a, a little, a little bump in your finances. Now, a little bump in your finances <laughs> can, um, <clears throat> It, it, it to me when I hear little bump in finances, what what I think of is like a a one time little bonus sort of thing, maybe a a couple hundred dollars. Now in six months, however, in six months there's going to be a much bigger um amount coming in, and I try to be very careful of the words I use, even though they're saying downfall or uh, yeah a bigger uh amount coming oh. in um i try to be careful because what's a big amount to me and what's a big amount to you may be a completely different thing so i don't like to give people especially when it comes to money i don't like to say you're going to get this big amount and to me it might be a big amount but to somebody else that might be oh that's peanuts that's nothing um so I really try to be careful, but there is going to be a down, a, a down, an, an, another amount coming in in oh, about six. Yes, in about six months. Now I always see when m extra money, extra money is coming in for people. I see it in the form of it's it's the weirdest thing, folks. And I'm going to explain this to you. I see like a Buddha sitting there. Uh, it, I'm not Buddhist. I don't believe, I don't uh, prescribe to that religion, but I see a Buddha sitting there. And then I see these gold coins 
coming down. Or if somebody's sitting in my office, I just see gold coins coming down from heaven for them. Um, th I won't see the Buddha then, but in this case, I'm just seeing the Buddha. And one, the, the coins are small, medium, and large, and that signifies the amount of money. And then I'll see however many coins there are. So in your case, Donna, I see a little coin very close to you or the Buddha, and that is signifying there's something coming in sooner around that month, month and a half time. Then there's another coin right above the Buddha. That's around that six month time. And that's about a medium sized coin. So that coin signifies there will be a bigger bump coming in in approximately maybe four months, but probably six months. I'm going to tell you that that one will hold you over for a bit. OK, now six months from now, I think is right around March and tax return time. So it might be tax return time. I don't hear that you're going to get any unexpected income at this time. Now, if I ask specifically again, is there an inheritance coming to Donna? I hear not yet. It might take a bit of a minute. Now, let me be clear about this. And I know some people are very sensitive about this subject, so please, However you feel about this, it, it, it is what it is. I just have to say it the way they say it. Somebody could pass or die tomorrow, but that inheritance might not come in for two years or three years because it might take that long to settle their estate. So even if somebody is on the, you know, their deathbed literally, or has just passed and an inheritance, inheritance, inheritance is coming. Yes, we would love that to be like, pay me today. Come on. Because we're all in that, you know, like financial whatever space for a lot of people that may not come in because of um, bills that need to be paid and making sure everything is where it's supposed to be. That might not come in for a bit of time. There is an inheritance coming to you that should come to you. All things staying the way they are, that may not come in for a bit of time. And they're not even giving me that time frame on that. Um, but I do say that there, again, in, in about a month and a half, there should be a little bump in money coming to you. Okay, love? Yes, wonderful. Excellent. That would be great. Excellent. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for calling in again, Donna. I love hearing from you and um, knowing that you're still part of the still part of the family here. So thank you so much. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to 206. 206, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi, Tony. This is Patricia calling from Alabama. How are you? And thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. Absolutely. How can I help you today, love? Yes. Um, um, do spirit, um, um, what does spirit um, um, have for me? Um, coming up in the in the next uh, sixty days, significant Any, anything significant coming up for me in the next sixty days, please and thank you. Okay, so typically I don't work like that. Like typically, I would say that's a reading that you should get, um, just because oh, okay. uh, there's a lot of people that call in and are waiting, and typically, I would. Uh, because in the next 60 days, there are going to be things happening in relationship, love, family. Um, that's, that's kind of a bit of a whole reading, but I will pick one area. Um, if you, or okay. one connection, if you would like that, um, I don't do full readings for people on air. If you, if you would like a full reading, I'm really happy to do that. Um, you can go to my website, T O N I G dot info and we can talk about what's coming up in the next six months if you'd love 
that. Um, but for the sake of the show and other people that are uh, waiting and uh, patiently for yeah. to get through, did you have a more specific question you would like to ask or something else you would like to know about? Yes. Um, well, I'll ask um, specifically um, financial. Uh, um, I am still in that settlement phase um, with, with my home and um, um, that I was in dealing with the, the um, homeowner's insurance. And so do you see that finally coming to a conclusion? Um, and do you see an amount? Okay, so I am going to say um, I do see it coming to an a con. I do see it coming to a conclusion. I think it's going to be pr a prosperous or profitable conclusion. I do feel like you are going to have to wait a bit of time for that to come through a little a little bit longer still. I don't know if it's six. I'm just hearing six. So I don't know if it's six, six weeks or six, six months. You know what they're doing? They're waiting for an expert. They're waiting on a report. Mm. They're wait. Okay. I'm not going to call it an expert. They're waiting on a report from something. Okay. Now, obviously a person or a company is writing the report, but it's about something regarding the property. They're waiting for a report on something regarding the I want to say equivalence. It could be equivalence. Like all things being equal, like apple to apple, like a comparison uh -huh. or something like that. They're waiting on a report from that. And the person who's doing the port report is, or the people, the company is bogged, like bogged down. Like there are not enough people to do the work that needs to be done. Like I just see a big stack um, but I am going to tell you this, have patience and don't push because, and here is why my beautiful girl, if you have patience, um, when, when your number comes up, they're going to be, they're going to run it normally. If you push and you try to get, uh, make their, uh, I'm hearing make their life hell or make it more difficult or try to be like, where, where is this? I need this. They're going to um, minimize it. They're going to shortcut mm -hmm. you. Um, so what I'm hearing is just uh, let them take their time. Let them have the time they need to make the comparisons. And if, if you okay. would like, you can do a comparison I hear this, I, I'm hearing this statement, all things being equal, equity, equality. So I don't know if they're trying to figure out how to compare your property to another one or how they're trying to do this. But excuse me, that is basically what they are working on right now for you and what they are what they're they're getting now whether this is six weeks or six months <clears throat> and i feel like it it will be before prior to the six six month mark but i do feel like whatever they're going to come up with it's it's going to be a fair amount okay it's going to be fair okay now i'm going to say this personally yeah. Sometimes fair really sucks and it's not right. And sometimes you have to have a third party step in on your behalf and say, listen, they consider this fair, but it's not right. They're saying this is what's fair, but this is what is right. 
and you might have to have somebody mm -hmm. get a get a get another set of eyes on it to make sure it is right. That's what I'm hearing. Just get another set of eyes on it to make sure that it is right. Okay, love? Okay. So the Thank amount. Thank you so much, Tommy. I love you and many blessings. Oh, you are so welcome. And I do want to say the amount hasn't been decided yet. And even when they send the check, remember, when insurance companies send checks, when they make an offer, that's just what it is. With insurance companies, everything is negotiable. So make sure you have somebody who knows what they're talking about on your side. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. You are so very welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. <clears throat> and thank you so much for, for calling in today. I'm going directly to 415. Hey, Genevieve. Happy Monday, girl. What's going on? Okay, 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Johnny. This is Kate. Hey, Kate. Good, good, good. Okay. I... I'm yeah. doing a lot. I have a lot of um, irons in the fire. Mm -hmm. And most things kind of have a deadline of like around a couple of weeks, like beginning of October. And um, two or three weeks to do a lot of things at once. So um, maybe just uh, what do they say to me about being, sometimes I get anxious about it. Or if you could do a clearing about getting things done yeah. one at a time, or you know, what is the best way for me to do this and keep my mental health? <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do, Kate. Thank you so much. Um, I had a couple requests this morning too for clearings that were of uh, uh, anxiety and stress related. So I'm gonna take those one at a time, and okay. we're going to go through them. So thank you so much for being here and, and helping us. So all anxiety has been cleared. I get a no. Let's start clearing that. All causes. Who my head is in. Oh my gosh. All causes Ooh. of anxiety oh. have been cleared. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Now I am not anxious, but when, when I clear, I am, I, I, I some of that energy I can feel it going through me so I am sorry for whoever feels this way I am so sorry for what you are going through that is a lot I'm gonna do a series of clearings and this started right at the 22 minute mark of the show so if anybody wants to come back and just get all these yum yum clearings again please do um all stress has been cleared no we're gonna clear that all causes of stresses stress has been cleared and healed I get a no let's clear and heal that who yeah Whew. okay and now for those who called in that were asking about money all that is stopping or blocking money from coming to me has been cleared no let's clear that now these are big ones today, folks. These are big ones yeah. for everybody listening. I think we're reaching a certain point where we are just, um, you know, we've held it all together for so long and we're at, we're like a, a volcano ready to erupt. Oh, okay. Yeah. All that has caused yeah. these money blocks have, has cleared and released. I get a no. Let's clear and release that. Ooh. And then the next one, all confusion, illusion, and delusion has cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. Oh. Okay. That's good. That's a good one. And then I had a request from Jessica to clear health um, issues. So we are... I'm just going to blanket that and say we are healthy and I get a no and I'm going to clear that. Um, by the way, everybody on that happy note, I found a product I absolutely adore. It doesn't matter the name of the company you get it from just as long as it's a really good 
company. It's Fulvic, F-U-L-V-I-C Minerals. And it is, it's amazing. It's, it's very, very amazing. So for people trying to clean things out of their body, maybe if they've recently had um, to do something for work or uh, you know what I mean, uh, Fulvic Minerals is being said to be in that area to clear all of that out. And Amy, who is an acupuncturist, is saying Fulvic Acid. Um, you can do fulvic in the form of like a foot bath, a body soak, or you can take it, ingest it as a mineral. It is simply amazing. Uh, there are a number of different minerals you can take and a number of different things you can take to help detox the body. Also, not a doctor, personal experience. If your personal experience matches with mine after you try it, come back and let me know. Okay. Kate, I hope this is helpful for you. I hope that these clearings were very helpful for you. And I hope, I, I really do hope that you are um, having a good rest of the day, love. Thank you. You, are, you are so welcome. I'm going to go to the next caller. Um, I want you to know if you'd like to call in, if you have a question about life, love, career, finances, or you'd like to connect with a loved one on the other side, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Uh, hi, Laya, Maya. Uh, oh, Lyria. Hi, Lyria. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So thank you, everybody, for joining me and spending your time with me. I'm so grateful for that. Remember, you are loved. You're loved by um, so many people on the other side who are with you and walking with you, and you can call on them to help you and guide you at any time. Your ancestors, your loved ones, they're not the same on the other side as they were when they were here. 90 seconds. All ego is gone. All that's left is love. And remember, this is, I'm going to get this in as quickly as I can. Wherever we leave off, we get to come back in. So as you go out, so shall you come in. And that goes for our ancestors too. So the more we progress in this life, the better we help our ancestors come back in also. I love each and every one of you. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. See you on Wednesday.